Morning. Got some pieces of rock to drill today on a forest road project, big bits of granite that are in the way. It's fairly sizable pieces. Here's another angle. That's a beauty, isn't it? Should keep me busy for the day. Now, there's an indicator there's something on today, a bit bigger than a backyard shot. The placarded, that's where it is. And this is it, just starting to load up this baby. It's a lovely, very still morning here. Bit of fog, hope that disappears. The fog would hold the bang down, and we don't want that. We want the bang to disperse because we're only uh, about a k and a half from people's houses. So we're using all non L uh, delay debts, no exposed debt cord, because that would be unbelievably noisy. Okay. Checking the holes are all dry. They're all about eleven hundred and fifty mil deep, which is what I want. Each of these holes is going to get a slug of uh, 32 mil by 200 packaged emulsion. 185 gram plug. And that should suitably mess it up. Reverse prime, of course. Do that everywhere you can. Bit of tape. home. And that's how it goes. Okay, it's a 42 hole shot. Uh, that looks pretty good. This is what I do for fun. Shouldn't have any trouble digging that out. Here we are post blast. That's the extent of the throw. Could have just hit around the corner. That's that's 24 metres from the closest part of the rock. Even cleared the road by hand. How's that, eh? And the job supervisor was worried about the road, which is five or six hundred metres away. Could have done this in my backyard. 
Anyway, it looks fairly, um, fairly broken up. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting all this out. Good fragmentation. Who said you can't use ANFO in small diameter holes? Now, who was that? That's what I want to know. Looks like it works pretty good to me.